stove. I don't have a, t a real refrigerator because they are so big and they hold everything under the sun and that makes it give it a nice place to go bad and then you have to clean it. Do you know what a lot of work it is to clean a huge fridge? Forget it. So I just buy the stuff, put it on the counter. Most things don't need the refrigerator. Milk needs it. Eggs don't even need it. In Germany they had eggs in great big bins on the floor in the grocery store and people in Germany had their eggs in a little basket on the counter. So eggs really don't need to be refrigerated. They'll last a month or two or something. I don't know. You have to could try it. Just put it out for an experiment and then whatever. Open one every day and see how long they last. Do you know what a crocodile does? A crocodile drags his victim into the water, drowns him, and then he throws him up on the south bank. The reason he throws him on the south bank is because the sun shines on the south bank, never on the north side. The sun will make it nice and warm and will make it rot and then an alligator can eat it. Alligators don't like to have to, you know, deal with raw food. So in my house, I have what I call the South Bank. You see what happens here? This is where I put stuff, you know, like the opened rutabaga. Some people call it a swede, you see? Put it here on the South Bank. And the lettuce is here. Look at this one. It's rotten, don't you think? That needs to go out. Why didn't I even use it? And then there's the bananas. Now these bananas, as bad as they look, you can just... Well, some of them are really bad. They should be thrown out. But if they're not disgusting, like if they're still not moldy or anything terrible, if they're just soft, you can make banana bread. You see the oranges? We used to love oranges. And then there's the carrots. People think that carrots are gone bad all the time, and so they never get eaten, even if they're brand new. And you see what happens to some things. So my children, when they clean the house, this all goes in the compost. That might be a good idea. I think I should do that too. So we just call it the South Bank. And if you put your stuff on the South Bank and wait for it to rot, it will. Bye.